Hello my beautiful humans and welcome back to the Corolla Project. In today's video we are trying out another Audi crafty hobby value pack, whatever you want to call it. Um, in today's video we are actually going to be trying out... Where did I put it? Uh, we are going to be trying air dry clay craft. Um, so I think this is going to be a two day kind of thing because we obviously need to let the glue dry, or the glue, the pottery dry overnight. Um, so I have flicked through this book and to be honest none of it really has everything that we need or everything that they provide. Everyone needs like a cutting tool and everyone needs a rolling tool and everything else and they only provide the paint, the gold leaf, the clay and some glue and a paintbrush. Um, so I feel like usually they get you to do one of these, so this is like a ring holder, but I actually think that the little trinket bowl is a lot cuter and I have a feeling that I might be able to make at least two of these. We're going to get started with this. Fortunately, I already have some tools up there. See this that you see? It's all of my belts and all of my craft stuff. If you're ever struggling to get organized in your house, those is, that is one of the best ways to do it. So I'm just gonna grab some stuff that I think I'm gonna need. So here I have a little bit of a collection of tools for pottery. Uh, and I'm gonna get this little rolling thing. And I've also got a little bit of a cutter in here that I can use. So that is just perfect. So we're just gonna get started. Uh, I think I know what I'm doing. I think I can go pretty rogue. Um, I also think pottery is one of the things that I actually enjoy doing. But we'll open up this anyway. I'm just gonna work this clay and I'll be right back with you. Okay, okay, so I've been working the dough. I've actually too lazy to get, in, get it wet. So I've been spraying my, um, my skincare into it. At least it smells nice. Um, and it is pretty rough and pretty hard, but I think we're getting there. I'm going to change the angle so you're looking down the way. Here you go. Um, so we've got it here. I'm just going to grab my little tool and slightly clean up this surface area. And it says roll it out until it's like two centimeters thick. So I'm going to do that. And just keep it moving so we get a nice I think it's too dry like I actually think this clay itself oh my god okay guys so I've been playing with this for like 20 minutes now and no matter what I do it just kind of crumbles apart so I'm gonna say it's a flop like the clay in this thing not great for like no matter how much water I put into it it just keeps falling apart I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong here if maybe you know please do leave me a comment down below I don't know what I'm doing wrong here but what I'm going to do is actually go and see if I have any already open clay and try and use that and some of the other tools in here because I really do want to make one of these bowls. I think they're pretty cute. And at least that way we can tell if it's the fault of the clay or not. So I'm going to go wash my hands, wash this table, get some more clay and move on. Okie dokie, so I still have some uh, actual clay. It is the terracotta one from Das. I've still got full packets up there. So I'm gonna use this and see if it's the issue with the clay. Um, and I've also now wrapped one of my bowls in cling film just so I can take it out a little bit easier. So this is still pretty moist. I do have some leftover stuff on this roller so I'm actually gonna use a slightly different one. I've got this, this wooden one here. Um, and we're just gonna do the same thing. I'm kind of going to beat this up a little bit before I start rolling it. There we go. Lift her up. Come on. Oof. Ta-da. 
and smooth it all out. And that's what it looks like. So I have managed to make a somewhat in between of the my clay and their clay and now it's become a little bit of a gently, handle me gently kind of clay. Um, so I have a feeling that it's definitely their clay that is the issue. I don't know if it needs a lot of water or what it is but it's very crumbly. Plop it inside just like the last one and just press it against the sides. There we go. So that's two. I'm not sure I'm gonna get much more out of this clay. Um, and I don't think I have anything smaller that I can wrap it around. So as much, I'll put you really high up, as much as I want to make something out of this, I think it's gonna go back into my little baggy, my little moist baggy. I like to re-moisten it every time and it's just gonna live its best life in here. Cool. And yeah, so I will see you guys in the future. Bye. Hi guys, um, so it's been about a week since I have made these little pottery bowls and they came out pretty easily with the cling film. There's not much of a texture on the back because of the cling film. Um, the top of this one, this is the mixed clay, is a little bit rougher compared to the one that was just my clay. I don't know if you can see the difference. Um, so now the next part is to use this craft glue and they've also supplied me with a single copper leaf to do the edges with. Oh, no, two, two copper leaves, and I've just been very, very not gentle with that one. It's not great because the sticky part of the envelope just got stuck on it. So I'm going to try and take it out as gently as I can, even though it's breaking apart. Literally got stuck on the sticky part, so that's not great. Um, but this is what it looks like, and I'm going to glue around the edge of that. I'm going to use this kind of brush just to paint it onto the edges here. That's where I want the gold leaf to go. I'm going to dip the first half just here and try and pick it up but also kind of leave some of that there. I think they both look absolutely wonderful. I'm gonna let them both sit and dry. Uh, my entire desk is covered in gold leaf and I kind of love it. Like, absolutely in love with this. I think I'm in love with pottery in general. Um, I've always been interested in it uh, since I was like a little kid and I've always been like I like making stuff with my hands and I feel like this was such an intricate process and I finally have something like at the end of it that like I can show off and like give to someone or keep for myself or you know just like whatever so I absolutely love this process um, I love that I've made something and that I can be like proud of it, you know? So my lovely humans, that was genuinely so much fun. I think pottery is definitely gonna be something that I look into in a little bit more detail because that was so much fun. I really wanna do like uh, more DIY tutorials and stuff because I feel like this might be it. Like this might be the forever hobby um, or at least until I get bored of it. So. I would rate that honestly like an 8 out of 10. Um, the kit was absolutely horrendous, like the only good thing about it was the glue and even the gold leaf was a little bit 
like fragile but obviously that's not the fault of the manufacturer that's completely my fault um but the actual clay i guess the thing that you're meant to work with absolutely atrocious you couldn't do anything with it but pottery as a hobby really really fun um so i hope you guys enjoy this video please leave a comment down below and tell me if you're gonna do more pottery um if you're gonna if you've ever done it if you have any tips for me um especially how to work with um, gold leaf um copper leaf just to kind of get a better idea for what i'm doing right and wrong if you did enjoy this video please leave a thumbs up it really does help me out a lot and if you want to go on this journey with me then subscribe down below and join me on my adventures and i'll see you guys in the next one bye